Hi, we're Radu and Cesar and you're watching Runner to Runner Shoe Review. In today's episode, we're gonna present you how we ran with the Mizuno Wave Rider 19. I ran 110 kilometers with them and Cesar, how much did you run with them? Also 110 kilometers. Yeah, but it's it's the same pair. <laughs> <laughs> so I was the first one to wear this shoe thanks to Sport Guru in Romania, sportguru.ro that offered this pair of shoes before the Beijing Marathon when where we filmed uh, the documentary Discover the World Through Its Marathons. Uh, so, uh, most of the kilometers I did with this shoe were before uh, the marathon. I did around 60 kilometers to train uh, for the marathon and afterwards at the Beijing Marathon in uh, late September this year. And afterwards I ran two, two more times and I gave them to, to Cesar to continue running with this shoe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that is right. Okay, so uh, here is my opinion. You'll hear later Cesar's opinion. Uh, because we want to be more runners that talk about the same shoe and we hope we can offer you uh, the best advices so you can choose your shoes perfectly. Uh, I think that the Mizuno Wave Rider 19 is a perfect shoe for neutral riders, for people that are aiming to do a marathon in let's say uh, three and a half hours, four hours, four hours and a half. I would recommend this shoe to people that are already used to running, that they have some several uh, kilometers in their uh, uh, tracking apps uh, that, are, that are maybe a little bit more experienced. Uh, I found a lot of comfort in this shoe. It's probably one of the most comfortable neutral shoes that I, I had uh, so far uh, because um, Neutral shoes tend to be a little bit uh, not that comfortable for uh, beginners and they, that might be a problem uh, but this is a very comfortable shoe thanks to the upper part which is very smooth. Uh, I think the breathability in this shoe is very good. Uh, it, you don't have any problem with the, with the air flowing inside and outside of uh, this shoe. Uh, we were, I ran the Beijing Marathon which was very, uh, very hot during the day uh, and I felt no problem at all. And also I would like to show you the, the outsole after 250 kilometers. It looked like sharp new which is very good. It's a little bit dirty but it looks very good. Okay, what I also like about this shoe is the color. It comes in a, a strong red color with the, with some uh, darker color over here. Uh, it looks good. You can all, all also wear it with your jeans and it will help you improve your pace because the comfort that you have and the speed that you can add to your training runs with this shoe is a perfect combination of your um, performances getting a little bit higher and enjoying your run more. Uh, Cesar, how did you feel while wearing this shoe? Yeah, this uh, was the, my sixth shoe that I wore and uh, was the first uh, Mizuno one. Yeah, um, considering that I have uh, soft ankles and uh, I have a crooked ironing. Uh, he, he plays handball. Yeah. That's why he <laughs> has problems with his ankles. With, with my ankles. <laughs> um, I was very, very impressed with uh, uh, this uh, shoe stability because uh, they offered me something that I never uh, experienced before. Uh, I never twisted my ankle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I know Cesar for quite a long time, and I know that he always had this problem with uh, running shoes. He always try. He was always trying to run half marathons, maybe marathons, and trying to be better and better. But he al always got injured which is not a good thing because of his handball experience. Yeah. But yeah. now he told me after two weeks of wearing this shoe, he called me and he said, oh my God, 
I don't feel any pain. And he was so happy and he was like, I can run free. And yeah, yeah that's a, a great feeling, you know, to, to yeah. know that you can rely on your shoes. Please go on, Cesar. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I uh, experienced with uh, this shoe is that they have a good grip in all kind of surfaces, like uh, on, uh, on a street, on a gra granite uh, or uh, bicycle lines. Also on, on uh, uh, grass, yeah. Yeah, what it's what is good to know about this shoe, and I've seen it, for example, in the Adidas Ultra Boost that the outsole worn out very fast. Uh, they are going to improve it properly, uh, probably with the next uh, the next version. This shoe maintains its grip after 250 kilometers in sharp condition that is very important for running shoes that you can rely on it uh, if you're going out uh, in a sunny day to to run and but it suddenly starts to rain you know that you can rely on your shoe there are some other brands or uh, models that after 100 and 200 or 200 kilometers they are worn out on this outsole and uh, this can be a big disadvantage for for the runners and their safety yeah the last thing uh, that I will say that is, is this um, this shoe is my favorite one and uh, I will uh, wear it till uh, we'll, uh, until the end of time yeah. until the end the of end time, of time yeah. until dinosaurs will come back <laughs> <laughs> we recommend this shoe for all the runners that are interested in uh, uh, raising their uh, running speed and also seeking for comfort uh, it's a great shoe. Now the 20th version of the Mizuno Wave Rider uh, was launched. We are happy to announce you that the next episode of the Discover the World Through Its Marathons happens in uh, the country of Mizuno in Japan uh, late February next year and uh, probably we're gonna see a lot of people using the Mizuno shoes. Sure. If you find this information useful or you have any other questions that you would like to ask please comment below or just uh, send us a message and we'll try to answer it to you. Uh, we're trying to offer these advices from amateur runners to other amateur runners yes. uh, because you know we're 99% of the runners in the world so uh, if you have any other questions, just uh, ask us and we'll try to, to help you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this uh, type of content. And in the upcoming episodes, you'll see the reviews of the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged, the Asics Fuse X uh, and the Sukoni Kimvara 7. Cesar and Radu, thank you for watching. Have a Bye. great day and enjoy your runs. Let's see what the producers had to say. The Wave Rider 19 is ideal for neutral runners looking for a durable and responsive shoe with an amazing underfoot feel. This lightweight men's running shoe is also cushioned for superb softness, allowing you to run further than ever before. Here are the technologies incorporated in this shoe. The upper part is made of Dynamotion Fit, uh, a shoe upper that moves with you and emulates the motion of your foot, secures the feet. The air mesh technology is incorporated in the upper part for superior feel, breathability and comfort. Uh, in the midsole we have the famous Mizuno Wave technology, offers amazing underfoot feeling, disperses impact forces away from foot, it offers progressive and tunable support. It's lightweight, compact and responsive and doesn't break down over time. Also, uh, the U4IC technology uh, delivers optimal shock attenuation, durability and a superior ride. The smooth ride technology is incorporated in the midsole of the Wave Rider 19, which offers smooth rocking motion throughout your stride, increased flexibility and more power at toe-off. Not the least, the outsole is made of X10 technology which is the most durable carbon rubber that allows for longer wear in high impact areas and supplements tractions at heel strike. 